Wimberly Worried by Kevin Hinks. Wimberly worried about everything. Big things, little things, and things in between. Wimberly worried in the morning, she worried at night, and she worried throughout the day. You worry too much, said her mother. When you worry, I worry, said her father. Worry, 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 said her grandmother. Too much worry. At home, Wimberly worried about the tree in the front yard and the crack in the living room wall and the noise the radiator makes. At the playground, Wimberly worried about chains on the swings and the bolts on the slides and the bars in the jungle gym. As and always, she worried about her doll pedal. It's her little doll. Mom put it in the washer, huh? Don't worry, said her mother. Don't worry, said her father. But Wimberly worried. She worried and worried and worried. When Wimberly was especially worried, she rubbed Petal's ears. Wimberly worried that if she didn't stop worrying, Petal would have no ears left at all. See, it's funny. On her birthday, Wimberly worried that no one would come to her party. See, said her mother, there was nothing to worry about. But when Wimberly worried that there was not going to be enough cake for all her friends. On Halloween, Wimberly worried that there would be too many butterflies in the neighborhood parade. See, said her father, there was nothing to worry about. But then Wimberly worried because she was the only butterfly. You worry too much, said her mother. When you worry, I worry, said her father. Worry, 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 said her grandmother. Too much worry. Soon, Wimberly had a new worry, school. Wimberly worried about the start of school. More than anything she had worried about before, she worried about school. By the time the first day arrived, Wimberly had a long list of worries. What if no one else has spots? What if no one else wears stripes? What if no one else brings a doll? What if my teacher is mean? What if the room smells bad? What if they make fun of my name? What if I can't find the bathroom? What if I hate the snack? What if I have to cry? Don't worry, said her mother. Don't worry, said her father, but Wimberly worried. She worried and worried and worried. She worried all the way to school. While Wimberly's parents talked to the teacher, Miss White, Wimberly looked around the room. Then Miss White said, Wimberly, there's someone I think you should meet. Her name is Jewel. She was standing all by herself. She was wearing stripes and she even had a doll. At first, Wimberly and Jewel just peeked at each other. This is Petal, said Wimberly. This is Niblet, said Jewel. Petal waved and Niblet waved back. Hi, said Petal. Hi, said Niblet. I rub her ears, said Wimberly. I rub her nose, said Jewel. Throughout the morning, Wimberly and Jewel sat side by side and they played together whenever they could. Petal and Niblet sat side by side too. Wimberly worried, but no more than usual and sometimes even less. Before Wimberly knew it, it was time to go home. Come back tomorrow, called Miss White, as the students all walked out the door. Wimberly turned around and waved and she said, I will come back. Don't worry. 
the